Hi, and a huge welcome to Steve's Kitchen. If you want to get ahead in the kitchen, you've come to the wrong place. Yep, yeah, sorry about that, fella. We're actually making gingerbread men ice cream sandwich today. They're a lot of fun, not too complicated. A very simple homemade ice cream. Shopboard ice cream just doesn't really work for this recipe. Come on, let me show you how. This recipe starts with possibly the simplest homemade ice cream I ever make on Steve's Kitchen. We're just going to take a pint or 600 mils of thick cream, and that's a whipping style cream. And then using a stand mixer or a hand mixer like this one, we're just gonna whip this up until it's fairly stiff. So you see what we've done, we've knocked a lot of air and volume into that cream. It's pretty firm now. What that'll do is add a little lightness to the ice cream, but not too much. The next thing I want to do is sweeten this cream a little bit. I've got a 400 gram, that's about 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk. We're just going to pop that in. We're not gonna be whisking this in though. Just pour it over the top of the whipped cream. And the next thing I want is flavor. I'm using some vanilla bean paste. You could use vanilla extract. I'm gonna pop a teaspoon of that in there as well. What I want to do now is mix this without knocking the air out of the cream. So I've just got myself a spatula and I'm going to start to blend this all together until I get an even texture. So it really doesn't take long and you've got what looks like melted vanilla ice cream. Yum, yum. Tastes great. Now here I've got a 12 by 8 baking tray, a little bit of baking paper. I've allowed it to come up the side so it's easier to get my ice cream out once it's set. Now we've got the bowl here and what we're going to do is gently pour that in and just let it self level basically. Give it a few shakes to get it as flat as you possibly can. Then we're going to pop this in the freezer and it's going to take about four hours to six hours to set before we can start to use this as the center for our ice cream sandwich. The ice cream is sorted. Let's make our Steve's Kitchen gingerbread man. Very simple recipe. Come down here. I've got 100 grams. That's three and a half ounces of salted butter. I'm going to add the same amount of sugar. You can use regular sugar. I've got caster sugar or super fine sugar there. All we want to do then is just cream this together until we've got a sweet buttery paste. Now that just takes a few seconds. The next thing, one egg. Just going to break that straight in. And let's just bind that egg in there. It doesn't matter if this splits a little bit at this moment. So we've got the start of a batter now. Let's start to put the flavour in. Now I'm going to add treacle into this. You could use molasses. I'm going for three quarters of a cup. I've put a little bit of oil in the cup first just to help the molasses come out. And you'll see when I measure my three quarters of a cup, it pours out without sticking in the measuring device. Now flavor, I'm going to add a teaspoon and a half of powdered ginger into this, possibly a little bit more. I want some cinnamon as well. I'm going to go for probably about a teaspoon and a half of cinnamon as well. I like a nice spicy cookie. Next, a little cloves, but we're not going to put so much in, maybe about a quarter of a teaspoon and fresh grated nutmeg. Now, I'd probably put about half a teaspoon of nutmeg in there. You can use powdered nutmeg if you like. Now the smell coming off there is delicious. We're going to mix this up until we get a smooth batter. Now you see what we've got there is almost like intense gingerbread. The smell is just delicious. If you tasted that now, it would be fantastic. Now we have to give this some substance. So I've got about 450 grams. That's approximately a pound of all purpose flour. No leavening agent in here at all. I am gonna sift it in, it isn't entirely important, but I'm just going to sift it in over the mixture. And the reason I'm not using a leavening agent is because I want these not to spread too much on the cookie tray. Now we can start to mix this up until we get a lovely cookie dough. Now when it comes together like that, I suggest that you get your hands in there and start to bring this together. So now you see that dough is coming together. It's a little wet. We can pop that into the fridge a little bit just to chill it slightly. Now I took my cookie dough and I chilled it down in the fridge for 10 or 15 minutes. We don't want it too long because we don't want it to be freezing cold. Now down here I've got a baking tray I've lined with a little baking paper, non-stick it is of course. 
On my counter, I just want to pop some all-purpose flour down and we're just going to turn probably half of the cookie dough for now. And keeping the surface well floured, we just want to roll this out until it's about, or probably about quarter of an inch to half an inch thick. Now I've got my little cookie cutters. I'm not going to go for the big fella. I want a medium sized cookie cutter. This one's probably about four inches high and I'm just going to use that to cut out my gingerbread men. And then what you're going to do is just get under there with a spatula, lift the little gingerbread fella up like that and pop him down onto your baking tray. Now I've got 12 little gingerbread men there on my tray. I'm going to pop these in the fridge for about 20 minutes to half an hour. I want them nice and chilled before they go in the oven. That'll just stop them from spreading a little bit more again. Now my little gingerbread men have chilled down. I'm surrounded by pavlova and fruit as well because we're doing a Christmas pavlova as well. Watch out for that video if it hasn't gone up already. Now I've preheated an oven, 180 degrees Celsius, 350 Fahrenheit, and they are going to go in for no more than eight to 10 minutes. We don't want them super brown. And if you've got a fan forced oven, you might want to crank that temperature down a little bit as well. So let's get these in the oven. Now the gingerbread men are out of the oven. I'm just gonna pop them down on the side for about five or 10 minutes, and then we transfer them over onto this cooling rack. Once they have cooled down, our little gingerbread men are ready. Let's get on and prepare the ice cream. Now the homemade ice cream is set beautifully there, and we just need to get it out of the tray. A little bit of work, just edging it out, it should come fairly easily. Now don't put this on a warm surface, pop it down somewhere cold, Let's lay back the paper like that. Now, I am going to try and cut these with my gingerbread cutter uh, without putting them in warm water. I'm just going to press down very firmly until I've cut myself out a little bit of gingerbread man ice cream. We can take off the excess bits there and just wiggle it out. Now that's the beauty of this homemade ice cream. It's a little bit firmer and we can handle the gingerbread man. If we just ease that out of the center there, what we can do is take one of our little gingerbread men, pop it upside down, and if you just line up your little piece of ice cream, take another gingerbread man like that, pop it on top, and voila, we have these wonderful little gingerbread men ice cream sandwiches. Now you want to get those onto a plate or tray and pop them in the freezer to set up nicely. Now leave them in the freezer a little while to set nice and firm and that is what you're gonna end up with, that wonderful little gingerbread man ice cream sandwich. They're heaps of fun, I've got a big pile of them here and they are going to be a real hit this Christmas. So please share the love, give this one the thumbs up. I really hope you try this. Share some pictures with me across on your social media. Comment down below and I'll see you next time. Have a great Christmas. So I've got a couple of little fellas here. I'm gonna share them out with the family. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed the video today. Obviously some links up there to some other Christmas videos and possibly something else as well. Uh, you be good, comments down below. See you next time. Thank you.